sisters, we are in some serious times. Very, very serious. And I don't think y'all really understand how serious this really, really is. I'm depressed. I'm very depressed. Not just all oh, because of stuff that's going on, going on in my life. Because God is being good to me, I must admit. I'm going through a lot, but God is good to me. You know, I thank God for the people that he have put in my life, you know, to be an encouragement or help me along the way. My small little circle is usually the ones that you least expect that would be there for you. The ones that's talking the most, always talking about, you know, they're going to always be there for you and love you. Don't even listen to that, man. You watch by the actions. You watch for the ones that are actually persevering next to you throughout the entire way. But see, God is being good to me, so I can't even complain throughout all the stuff that I've been through. My main concern right now is the world. The world is depressing me. Even though I shouldn't be focusing in on the world too much and looking in, I mean, I'm still human and I'm still living on this planet right now as God gives me the air to breathe. As you can see, anybody with two eyes and a brain can see that something's going on out there. Donald Trump is in office and it hasn't even been a whole month yet. And here this guy allegedly is signing stuff already. He's, he's signing stuff already, allegedly. And it hasn't even been a month yet. I told Facebook, I said that a prophet, I heard a prophet on YouTube say, that Donald Trump would be the next president of the United States and nobody listened to me. And someone even commented and said they don't believe it. See, a lot of people, they don't believe God. They don't believe anything that God has to say because a lot of people think this is a bunch of religious garbage and nonsense. But any religious book that you want to say that you see, that Bible is the most accurate right now from Revelation. If you really read Revelation, that book is the most accurate book that I have ever seen that actually lines up with today. And I'm not up here preaching, teaching, nothing. I'm telling you facts. Read it for yourself and look out there and you tell me what you see. Don't take my word for it. Pick up your Bible. Start reading in Revelation from one all the way to the last chapter and you will see that nearly almost everything that it has said is coming true. We are in some serious times, people, and I don't think y'all really understand that. I don't think y'all don't understand this is a time to pray like you've never prayed before. I don't think you really understand this is a time to be more vigilant than you have ever been before. This is not a game. A lot of people are walking around thinking this is a joke. Running up and down these pews and these churches playing. Y'all better stop. Seriously. This is, this is real. This is not a game. This is our lives you're talking about. And already, it hasn't even been a month, and some tremendous changes are taking place. Donald Trump is not for this country. Not for us anyway. Allegedly, in my opinion. So if I was you guys, I would really be taking this whole shit. This, this is not a game. It ain't, ain't no time for laughing. Ain't no time for jokes and games right now. Nobody's saying you got to be paranoid, but it's a time to be, uh, to be very attentive right now. And to stay prayed up and pray for God's protection over, over you and your family, over me and my family. You pray for me, I pray for you. This is very, very serious. I don't think people really understand how serious this really, really is. But we're about to find out. Seriously. Because... I just don't feel like this is going to be a good year for a lot of us. I, I just don't. I mean, I'm not trying to speak negative. I'm going to just pray and speak the best and pray for the best and hope that God will intervene for me and my family and for those out there that are really serving God. I'm really praying for all of us because this, this is not a game. It's really not. And especially if you know your Bible, you'll begin to understand this is not a game. This is serious. So I was just... Needed to vent that out real briefly. It's a lot on my mind. It's very depressing. I was expecting it. I knew it was coming. I've been speaking about it for years. And I always knew that this time would come. Um, 
If you don't believe me, you can ask the people around me. I've been talking about this stuff for years. This didn't, I haven't, I mean, it's been speaking about this in the Bible for thousands of years. I ain't telling them nothing new. It's in the Bible. That's what I'm saying. And anybody that have 